Local. So what is intercept form? Well, we know this is our standard, or actually sometimes we call it our general form. Uh, this is actually sometimes called standard, or I like to call it vertex form. And here's going to be our intercept form. Now, intercept form is very, very popular when we want to find the x-intercepts or we want to find the zeros of the function, so or of a quadratic. And that's why we use this one, because it's already factored down. A lot of times when we're given the standard form, we want to put it into this intercept form to be able to find the zeros of the quadratic. But this is our most common form of quadratics. And then we use this one for transformations and to very easily find the vertex. However, intercept form is very, very popular because what we can do for intercept form is our p and our q are going to be uh, you know, our numbers that are going to help us with. And remember, our a is going to be the same a here as the same a here. And that's going to tell us if my graph is going to open up or down and if there's going to be any you know, stretch or compression. Um, the important thing, though, to kind of notice about this, if I want to find the zeros in intercept form, then all I set to do is I just take each one of my factors, x minus p set equal to 0, and x minus q, and set that equal to 0. So I can use the zero product property. And then if I want to find the axis of symmetry, then to find the axis of symmetry, I do x equals p plus q divided by 2. So there's a brief little introduction of what intercept form is for a quadratic. Thanks.